Hello guys, welcome to Baizu's exam prep, the most comprehensive preparation app for all the computer exams. I hope I am audible and visible to everyone of you. So today we are going to discuss a different topic. So the top mistakes to avoid in the gate preparation. So this is the topic today. Top three mistakes to avoid in the gate preparation. I hope uh, I am audible and visible to everyone of you. Hi Trivikram Prasad, good evening. Am I audible? Please confirm me once. Uh, is my audio, video, everything is clear? Before I begin this uh, generic session, so please uh, do share this class information with your friends and also please do subscribe the channel if you have not yet subscribed it and also please do like the session. Am I audible and visible? Yes, yes. Hello, Rajeshree Joshi. Good evening. Okay, so today's topic is top three mistakes to avoid in the gate preparation. And before I begin the session, uh, you can just have a look at my profile. Myself, Murali Krishna Bukkasamudram, I am having 21 plus years of teaching experience, both in the gate and also I worked in different engineering colleges. And this is about my brief profile and you can just have a look at. And today, I am uh, just giving you what are the top three mistakes to avoid uh, while you are preparing for gate. And also I will explain what are the do's and don'ts which you have to do in the preparation of gate. Okay. So let us discuss all those things and uh, please uh, just ask your doubts and it is of more of interactive session. Whatever the doubts you get in the preparation of gate, not only for the computer science and uh, for all other branches also. Okay. So basically, uh, what do you think? What are the top three mistakes uh, to avoid in the gate preparation? So can anybody say what is the, uh, the top mistake you have to avoid? Because uh, as you know, gate is nothing but it is of completely of a technical and uh, you require to have thorough preparation in all the subjects according to your syllabus irrespective of the branch okay so whatever the branch whether it is computer science or electronics or uh, electrical mechanical civil whatever it doesn't matter but uh, the preparation strategy and the sequence of preparation and uh, consistency in the preparation these are main aspects okay yes uh, Yes, Joshi is asking, sir, which subjects to start for ECE? For ECE, you can start with the basic subjects, no? Basic subjects like analog electronics and EDC, digital electronics like that. Yeah, yeah. Not doing revision, test series, etc. Yes, Rajeshree. Yes, I agree for somehow. Okay. And uh, questions practice. Okay, fine. Now, let us see what are the top three mistakes in my perception. Okay. And uh, meanwhile, you can share the class information with your friends, okay? And also, do like the session and uh, please uh, press the bell button for getting notifications. And uh, if you have not yet subscribed the channel, please do subscribe it. Sir, is it the right time to start gate preparation? Yes, Trivikram Prasad. So, I don't know, actually, you are in which year. So, please tell me your details, then I will uh, give you the correct uh, uh, the strategy for you, okay? So generally the ideal time is you have to start in the second year of preparation and these are the three top mistakes in my perception lack of consistency in the preparation. So if anybody is not preparing consistently okay till the exam then it is very difficult to get a top rank in the gate. So I am talking about aiming for the top rank below 100 rank if you are aiming then then uh, consistency is very much required. So what do you mean by consistency? See, you have to read all the subjects, okay, so you should not leave any of the subject and also uh, you have to prepare uh, continuously without any break, like taking one month or two month break and all, it is not acceptable, okay, especially just before the uh, one year of exam, okay. So one year of uh, uh, struggle, uh, one year of uh, consistent preparation is required, okay, uh, after even if you are finishing, for example, in second year and third year, you have prepared all the basic subjects and all, then it is required. Okay. Yes. Any doubt, you can ask me. Okay. And this is actually, and not doing proper analysis also. Okay. So if you don't do the proper analysis, then it is a problem. Okay. You should analyze yourself and uh, where you stood. Okay. And how you are performing in the uh, mock test, all those things. So continuous assessment is required, self-assessment is required on each and every subject. So this is nothing but proper analysis is like, like uh, what are your weak areas, what are your strong areas, okay, 
and how to cope up with the weak areas and uh, what uh, to prepare exactly in those weak areas how to make up those things okay and how to subsidize uh, your weak areas uh, by going through the material or by going through the online classes or through the mock test or practicing previous year questions of that models etc and uh, these are the actually if 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 anybody is not doing the proper analysis it is very difficult to get a top rank okay so one has to know their strengths and weaknesses you have to make a swot analysis okay and uh, skipping of subjects don't skip any of the subject okay if you are aiming for the top rank so definitely including aptitude so 15 marks of aptitude and 85 marks of technical don't leave any of those things and you have to consistently prepare all those subjects without skipping any of the subject okay and uh, the consistency preparation i will tell you if you start for example some subject x in uh, gate preparation and don't stop in the middle you just uh, finish that subject okay and followed by you can uh, take another subject or parallelly you can start two subjects okay based on the time available with you and also based on the previous knowledge you have in that subject okay based on the classes you have attended so you can uh, segregate the things and you can uh, prepare accordingly okay and meanwhile yeah so if you have any doubt or any concern uh, don't hesitate to ask your doubts yes yeah if you are studying fourth year and uh, i can say second year I ideal time but if you have studied all the uh, core subjects perfectly in the second year and third year so there is no issue you can uh, i think get on uh, by studying more and spending more time yes rajeshri sir i am having my campus placements in august so should i prepare uh, aptitude for 2 hours and signal and system for 3 hours along with this yeah yeah that's good actually Uh, so if you have campus interview you can prepare aptitude that will be useful for campus placement as well as for gate so multi purpose that's good idea and uh, february first i got 12 out of 100 in third year ec acha okay 12 out of 100 that means you are in third year and you were not prepared right so this time i think uh, uh, you can do better okay uh, you have a try and we'll see what happens but you should have a consistency uh, till the exam okay like uh, 2024 you are going to attempt okay i wish you all the best and uh, go with these strategies okay and uh, now let us uh, move on to the next okay yes now prem ji yes prem ji hello sir uh, how to approach technical subjects whether start the subject with formulas or difficult to move to concepts first you have to finish the concepts okay then you have to go with the formulas and practice all those things so gate is testing your knowledge graduate aptitude test in engineering okay without the basics without learning subjects fundamentals it is impossible to even qualify the gate exam okay so problem solving if you keep aside if you don't know the basics even a single one more problem also you can't attend okay so basics as well as full length uh, test you out right and uh, practice questions and everything it is not only the uh, basics yes isodia good evening yes joshi actually yeah yeah i didn't yeah yeah no problem uh, rajeshri you can i think this time you can get a better rank uh, wish you all the best okay now coming to yeah and still if you have any concern any doubt regarding this please ask me and uh, so these are the top three mistakes and uh, there there can be some other mistakes also like uh, doing the silly mistakes while you are solving the problems that you have to avoid and where you are exactly doing mistakes you identify and practice in that area improve in that area that's what uh, i told you know uh, analysis on the strengths and weaknesses of uh, one caliber so that you can easily get through the next exam okay and uh, yeah sir you telegram link your yeah, telegram link uh, i will uh, share uh, in the uh, comment box later on definitely okay yes and still you have any doubt and uh, before i uh, conclude the session here uh, just uh, let us have some interaction also so i am just telling you some of the uh, things to do and things not to do so you only should tell me what are the things to do what are the things not to do in the list of items i have mentioned here 
so first and foremost thing solving all previous year question it is a must so things to do i will put a tick mark solving all previous year questions is essential okay and uh, attempting mock test is also essential and reading entire textbooks for all subjects not required not necessarily be not necessarily be because reading entire textbook for all subjects actually we can suggest if you are in second year actually if we, there are two two things here uh, you can uh, just uh, see this perception here it is like this okay reading the entire textbook for all subject usually the top textbooks for example for every subject there will be some top two textbooks prescribed textbooks and uh, always we encourage the students to go through the textbooks okay and also do the exercise problems given in the textbooks but at this juncture when you are in final year and just only one year of a 10 months of uh, time is there for example then i suggest you not to go to the complete textbook instead first listen to the classes okay and uh, you can go through the textbook so that you can save the time if you read the textbook without going to the classes what happens it will take months together for even one subject to learn for example if you attend for example some uh, subject x or y and uh, after uh, attending certain topic and if you go through the textbook essence of the topic you can understand very easily so that you can save the time this is a time saving uh, uh, technique actually so attending classes or uh, just watching some videos and then uh, reading the textbooks will work out okay so there are two things actually here if you started from second year onwards reading entire textbook at least one prescribed textbook you have to read for every subject and uh, you will get a good uh, exposure in addition to the classes you are attending and if you have uh, not studied so far and if you have started right now better you attend the classes then uh, go through the textbook so that uh, quickly we can uh, finish the content because uh, uh, top faculty always uh, will teach the essence of multiple textbooks and you can easily understand all the terminologies and concepts yes yes uh, telegram group link definitely hi tushar pyqc exactly you are right pyqc definitely 2014 onwards don't leave anything because from 2014 onwards uh, the gate has become completely online and uh, papers of multiple sessions also available in the market and uh, online also it is available so that you can take it and a quick references to all formulas it is required revision sequence easy to tough subjects yeah and also dependent subjects this is also required and reading short notes is required learning new concepts if the time is very short so i don't suggest uh, learning the new concept always learning the new concept is a good thing but uh, that depends on situation for example uh, just before three months if you wanted to learn a new concept and then practice so a lot of time may get wasted and uh, you may lose uh, some of the marks because you may not be able to concentrate on the concept which you already know it okay and a number of hours to prepare you have to plan for it number of hours actually uh, minimum eight hours eight hours uh, per day is ideal actually quality time and attempting more questions on confident topics it is required and use clear and concise notes for revision so all these things you have to do and things not to do already i told you so consistency is required and also you require uh, uh, analysis self analysis and you have to study all the subjects don't leave any of the subjects etc and also practice on the time management this is very very important okay so let us suppose uh, in the first mock test you attempted and uh, you could not attempt all the questions within the three hours and you can check where the time is lagging and first try to quickly solve all the questions you are 100 percent confident in the first uh, chance and in, in the next iteration then uh, you can think of the other questions but don't uh, think too much on a single question unnecessarily wasting of time okay yes uh, and don't leave any of the gate question paper from 2014 onwards if we have uh, the offline papers from 2001 also we can prepare because uh, 2014 every year we are getting uh, three years three papers like that uh, based on the uh, branch for some branches there are three paper three sessions also 
yeah general guidelines is like uh, don't be panic before you are going to exam and uh, get enough sleep okay always that is more important and take care of your health and uh, shut down the social media and just only useful things you see and don't waste much of the time on unnecessary discussions and all and i hope uh, this will work out for you okay and still if you have any doubt or any concern uh, please let me know it will be always uh, helpful to you and uh, i will also give guidance uh, in the chat box or uh, in the comment box after the class is finished yes and uh, please uh, do share the class information with your friends and also please uh, uh, press the bell button you can get a notification if you are not yet subscribed please do it immediately and share with your friends okay yes and uh, not here actually after the class is finished in the comment box i will share rashri joshi okay and i hope everything is clear and uh, take complete uh, rest just one day before the exam that is very much essential yeah that's all for today yeah thank you so much yes uh, joshi sir i am confused to go for entry level job or versus me or mtech see always uh, doing uh, higher education is suggestible see because uh, you can uh, go with the system development side okay so better you go with the uh, product based companies always okay so better uh, the higher education is always advisable rather than after joining the entry level job and again uh, uh, wasting 2 to 3 years of time and you may get a feel of going for higher education instead if you do it right now what is better if you don't have any financial burden and all because different people will have different uh, uh, situations so we can't uh, generalize it that depends if job is very much essential then better go for a job first and then uh, do mtech later okay that depends on your financial position and all yeah yeah if you if you are qualified in the gate and if you join mtech definitely uh, whatever the college you joined if it is through gate then definitely you will get a stipend as per the mhrd prescription okay any doubt any other doubts those who have not subscribed please do subscribe the channel and share with your friends and if there were no other doubts uh, then yeah yeah i will conclude the session thanks a lot thank you so much see you all once again good night